Hey guys, uh, this is Joel on How To, and this is uh, uh, part two to the video I did earlier, but it's also a standalone video on itself. And um, what I'm going to be describing is the CLT test. And um, basically, this is the best test for testing for compression. A lot of people use this little uh, screw in hose and the little gauge there, and they check all the cylinders. But um, this is the best test best test by far for uh, testing for a leak in the cylinder. Uh, I'd highly recommend it before you ever pull a cylinder head to do that gasket. And basically it's the CLT test which is the cylinder leak test and um, the process is going to be different for every car but basically what you want to do is get the cylinder you're testing on top dead center ready to fire. That means that um, both valves are well, the valves on each side are going to be closed and the cylinder is going to be in the up position. Hey guys, Joel Han How To. I'm pausing the video clip here real quick. I said, um, the make sure you get the cylinder uh, to top dead center. What I actually meant to say was the piston up to top dead center because the cylinder is a fixed thing, it's not moving. So, uh, yeah. Piston top dead center. All right, we'll continue on with the video now. And it should have complete, um, like completely no way to exit because that's when you need all the pressure and when it fires, it's going to push down and that's what's going to give you your power ultimately. So you want top dead center ready to fire. And um, remember when you put it to top dead center, you're going to have two um, cylinders at top dead center. Make sure you know what you're doing and you, you're you on the cylinder that is ready to fire and not the one that's on a, its exhaust stroke because the one that's on its exhaust stroke will have the exhaust valve um, well actually it won't be up, it'll be down and um, you're not going to have any compression because the uh, exhaust valve is going to be open. So top dead center ready to fire and then what you're going to do is you're going to get your attachment hose which is going to have a a spark plug um, attachment type thing and you're going to screw that in down to the cylinder and then you're going to have a um, shop air uh, connect um, at the end of that hose and all it is is it's a hose that's the other good thing you don't have to actually have the gauge and stuff so you hook your shop air up to the cylinder that you're testing um, screwed into the spark plug and then um, basically that should stop your air and it'll pretend like the air your shop air isn't doing anything um if you do have a leak if all these conditions are right then you will hear air leaking somewhere you can open your oil cap and you can listen uh if you hear air flowing in there then you know it's probably your um compression rings or your oil rings around your piston um let's see it could also be coming out of your um you could have a leak in intake valve um you could listen if you hear it coming from like your intake manifold that would indicate a uh, leaking intake valve you can also uh, stick your head by your exhaust um or your exhaust manifold and if you hear air coming towards there then you know you have a bad exhaust valve and then also other cylinders um if you take the spark plugs out of the other cylinders then if uh, an adjacent cylinder is um, leaking air then you'll know that the one combustion chamber is leaking to the other combustion chamber so um, like I said the CLT test uh, best test for checking uh, head gas hey guys it's Jordan again and I'm pausing the video again and actually I looked at the last video clip and I noticed Winnie the Pooh and Tigger up there that's my my wife's uh, teddy bear she collects there so yeah, um, saving them for our kids. Just wanted to add that because I knew I'd probably get some strange comments in uh, the video. But another thing I needed to add was when you're testing, um, when you're perform performing this test, um, the other thing you're going to want to do is remove your radiator cap while the shop air is going. And if you do have a combustion chamber to water jacket uh, failure, then water is going to shoot right up you're going to have stuff flowing you're going to hear something if you don't have any cooling in there something's going to happen so that would let you know that the head gasket is the problem and there's a failure there 
So just need to add that. And thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video. Okay. Um, so highly recommended. And that sums it up for you. So go out and try it. Thanks for watching. Join the Honda Attitude. See you next time.